this week we are going to be learning about relative minors and majors on page 22. Just as you have close relatives in your family, so does major and minor keys as they are related to each other because they share the same key signature, which means each major key has a relative minor key which shares the same key signature of the major key. First, let's find out how to find the relative minor of a major key. For this, you need a keyboard or you can use the keyboard given at the back of your workbook or simply draw a keyboard like this. Let's take an example of C major. To find the relative minor key of C major, we need to count three semitones below the keyboard. Just make sure it goes exactly three semitones below without counting the C. So let's avoid counting C. So we have B, B flat, and A. So we got three steps down the keyboard and we found that A minor is the relative minor of C major. Both of them which doesn't share any sharps or flats in its key signature. Let's take a look at your exercises on page 22. In the first question, using your knowledge of the major keys from grade 1, write out key signatures for their relative minor keys. Now you know that major keys and minor keys share the same key signature, so all you have to do is write the same key signature of the major. First they have given us the G major and you need to write the key signature of G major's relative minor key, which will also have another F sharp. So basically, you just need to repeat it. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. We have the key signature of C major, which doesn't have any sharps or flats. And we need to write the key signature of the relative minor of C major. So again, relative minor, which is the A minor, will also not have any sharps or flats in its key signature. Let's take a look at the next one. We have F major. You know that we have a B flat in the F major key. What we have to do is write a B flat on both places. All right, let's take a look at the next page. So in this example, this is what I just explained to you. You have to count down three semitones from the tonic of the major key to find the tonic of the relative minor key. Okay, so here is the C major and if we count three steps down, we go from B to B flat to A. So these are the three steps that should be followed to find the relative minor. So let's take a look at the first question. Count down three semitones to find the tonic of each relative minor. So we have F major and we need to find the relative minor of F major by counting three steps below. So we have F moves to E. Then again we have E flat. And E flat goes down one semitone below to D. So D is going to be your relative minor key of F major. So here I have written out the tonic which is the starting note of the scale. Then let's go to G major and do the same. So from G major we are going to count three steps down to find the relative minor. So you can so we can go to G flat or we can also call it an F sharp. G flat goes down to F and F goes down to E. So here we have three semitones below. Okay, so just make sure that you don't count the G. The three steps go below without the G. So from G flat, F, then we go to E. So here's the tonic of the relative minor, which is the E minor scale. Let's do the same for the next. So C major, 
we're going to count down three steps from B then we go to B flat which goes down to A okay so basically this is what we have to write just like in the example and show them here all right let's move on to the next now sometimes you may have to find the major key of the minor so you can see in this example we have counted from a minor three steps back in reverse from b flat to b natural to c okay so let's do the same on this first question count up three semitones to find the relative major so they have given us the minor key and we need to count up three semitones from d so d goes to e flat one semitone higher and then e flat goes to e natural one semitone higher put a natural sign to show that this e flat has been cancelled and then finally the third semitone above is an f so you can say that d minus relative major is an f major let's do the same for the next one we have the note e and from e we need to count one step up which goes up to f then we have an f sharp which goes up to g so g is going to be my relative major of e minor okay let's do the last one we have the note a the tonic of a minor which goes up one semitone higher to b flat and then it goes up to b natural that goes up to the c So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time.